Hi there, everyone. Uh, I'm Antonio. Nice to meet you all. Uh, and uh, today I'm here. Thanks to Terry. Thank you very much, my friend, for inviting me to do this uh, lovely masterclass uh, about the Cabernet Sauvignon in Italy. So I'm going to talk about this grape variety, where it grows, uh, who are the best producers, how to pair it with food. Uh, and uh, I'll show you also some map of Italy. Why not? So let's get started. Let me share the, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, the screen with you. So first and foremost, uh, I would like to introduce myself. I am Antonio Palmarini, as known as uh, Palmavini Wine Doctor in Instagram, where uh, I have uh, over 10,000 followers in uh, also in Vivino, where I rated uh, over 1,200 wines. So please uh, follow me in these two channels. But I'm a, I'm a wine drinker since 87 when I was born. Actually, no, after 10 years, I started to drink probably. Uh, but I started to study wine in 2007. Then, uh, of course, I'm Italian, as you can uh, pick from my Ascent, I moved to UK in London in 2010, where I started to study international wine. I've been working in many Michelin star restaurants, and I got certified sommelier for wine, for Japanese sake, and for tea as well. So not only wine is uh, uh, my focus, uh, even if uh, it is my background and is where I give my focus most. I also arrived semi-finalist of the best UK sommelier in 2019, and I'm a founder uh, of uh, the Wine Testing Awards, which is a competition uh, between uh, uh, wines from a specific region in Italy. And I have my website. So if you need any uh, extra information or would like to inquire for anything, so please uh, let me uh, visit the website and drop me an email. So let's get started with, uh, with the slides. I always start with this slide because it shows you where the wine is produced all around the world. And it is produced mainly or better, the best wines of the world coming from the Mediterranean weather, where you can find it in, uh, in California, uh, you can find it in, of course, in the Mediterranean Sea, so in Europe, in Chile, where there is also Mediterranean weather, and uh, Australia and South Africa. So, of course, not only there, because the north of Europe is not Mediterranean, as uh, is not Mediterranean uh, New Zealand or uh, some parts of uh, Canada, for example, or Oregon, uh, New York State, um, and also yeah, Washington State. Uh, so, yes, of course, uh, nowadays, uh, grapevine can grow anywhere in the world, from Caribbean island, from the equator, like in Ecuador, uh, in Central America, but also up north in uh, uh, Norway, for example, where it does not give good quality wines, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, still, though, some wines can be produced. It's produced also in Thailand, just to let you know. Uh, in China, it's widely produced. Uh, but quality wine is something else, which coming from the Mediterranean weather. So Ca Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is a great variety which likes warm weather. So gives the best example in warm climate. Warm climate, you find it uh, in Italy, in uh, south uh, of uh, France, in the southern part, uh, California, uh, like Napa Valley, for example, but also in Paso Robles, there are fantastic Cabernet Sauvignon. In in warmer places of Chile, South Africa, and also uh, Australia again. I mean, where there is warm weather, Cabernet Sauvignon gives fantastic results. Of course, you need Mediterranean, you need good uh, soil, good uh, sun exposure, and many, many other factors. But 
in general is like that. So Cabernet Sauvignon originated in Bordeaux, here in this area where my arrow is circling. This is Bordeaux area in France. It's not proper south, it's in the west side. And where is where the Cabernet Sauvignon has been the leading uh, grape variety is still now a leader of best wines in the world. Uh, but it has been uh, from Bordeaux since a thousand years ago. Thanks for the English that used to come here, take the wine and export it in their colony and exporting even in, uh, uh, in the USA. However, Cabernet Sauvignon in Italy is mainly produced in Tuscany. Cabernet Sauvignon is the grape variety most planted in the world as a red grape, as a red grape. So, uh, so you find Cabernet Sauvignon everywhere. Everywhere is blended with local variety. It happens in Spain, it happens in France, it happens in Italy, it happens in, uh, in Greece, in Portugal, where Cabernet is blended with local varieties to give uh, better importance to uh, that wine or that grape that is pre probably less known. Here is Italy. Uh, as I said, uh, Cabernet grows all around and blended all around. Uh, there are few top producer in uh, Trentino, actually one that is uh, exceptional from Trento that makes uh, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon blended with Merlot, uh, blended with Merlot and uh, uh, because it's often blended, I was thinking that I didn't put one slide because Merlot and Cabernet uh, Sauvignon is often blended, but I put another slide that shows you the difference between Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc that are always combined together, are all mostly blended together. In effect, this producer that I was uh, um, talking about uh, blend Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. Uh, which are always uh, very, very, very often combined together. Italy have got long history of wine. I've got 1,000 grape variety. Mm -hmm. th th there is no is second to known about this in production and in variety of grape varieties. Uh, mm -hmm. Second to known. Uh, and Italy combined with France and Spain produce over 51% of all the wine in the world. So massive production is made in Europe and Italy is the leader producer in quantity. Few years uh, uh, France overtake, uh, but in the last three years, uh, Italy has been the le leading uh, producing country. So if we zoom Tuscany, which is this region here, uh, which is in purple, let's go to zoom it. And uh, here the Cabernet Sauvignon is where uh, has more history in, um, in uh, Italy. And is where the best Cabernet Sauvignon coming from. Uh, there is a long history also, very intricate uh, history that in, uh, in the 60s, uh, some producers were not very happy about the legislation of the wines. So they started to go on their own using international grape variety like Cabernet Sauvignon, because Cabernet was French. So for a few, they were seen like traitors getting grape from France and producing French style wine in Italy. But the, for their side, they used to think that uh, uh, Italian legislation was quite rubbish and said something has to be changed. So um, yeah, there was this fight between this producer and this producer settled in Bulgaria. Bulgari is this in the map, the number 22, zoomed here, is around Livorno area, where Sassicaia, probably you heard 
is the most uh, iconic wine of Italy. Uh, in 68, launched the first Cabernet Sauvignon in, uh, in barrel, made in French style, made as best as possible. In effect, in 1985, uh, Robert Parker, an, an American uh, wine judge, uh, scored uh, uh, Sassicaia 85 hundred points and was the first Italian wine to get this score from uh, uh, Uncle Robert. Um, why Bulgari? Why Cabernet Sauvignon? Cabernet Sauvignon here found uh, the other Bordeaux, uh, similar climate, a bit warmer, uh, like Napa, let's say, a bit fresher than Napa, but more similar to Napa Valley rather than Bordeaux, where in Napa also Cabernet Sauvignon found the second home. Um, also the soil, the soil is very important, very similar soil, very similar climate, maritime as well, where Cabernet Sauvignon likes the gravel, likes warm, and uh, is where actually what Bulgaria has to offer. And this is zoomed to Bulgaria. It's a tiny area very tiny area. Uh, there are no many producers. Is probably a tenth of Napa Valley is nothing if you compare to Bordeaux. Bordeaux is uh, one of the largest producing region in the world. Uh, and here there are a few top Bulgari wine, which are the top Cabernet Sauvignon of Italy. All of them coming from here. There is Guadal Tasso, which is unbelievably good. It's fantastic. It's made from Antinori. Ornellaia, Sassicaia. Masseto, no, to be honest. Masseto is made by Merlot, 100%. Uh, but it's again the top uh, uh, Bulgari wine. Uh, these uh, three, uh, and even those two in the bottom, which are super value, as I called which are much, much more affordable and are amazing anyway, those wines are not only Cabernet Sauvignon, but are blends, are blends with Merlot and other grape varieties like Cabernet Franc. Sometimes Petit Verdot in uh, Ornellaia, for example, there is a touch of Petit Verdot. Not every vintage. Every vintage change the blends of grape variety. Sassicaia, however, the most iconic is only Cabernet, but Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. So here is the difference between Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon and why they blend it together very often. The blends called Bordeaux blends, which is, remade, remade, is, a, is made everywhere in the world, in Australia, in South Africa, in Argentina, in Chile, in Napa Valley, in California, Paso Robles as well. Even in uh, Washington state, they do this uh, mixture, which is called Bordeaux blend, involved four or five grape varieties. The most common are Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc. Then there is also Petit Verdot, Malbec, sometimes Kermener. But let's focus on these two Cabernet, because we are talking about Cabernet today. But Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is the bigger brother, is the more famous brother. And uh, Cabernet Franc uh, is a little, probably a silly bro little brother, uh, which gives a different uh, flavor profile to the wines if you do it uh, as on its own. So the Cabernet Franc gives more a red fruit character, uh, sometimes, yeah, black when it ripes a lot in warmer climate, but gives more harsher, grippier tannins. The tannins is the dry sensation that the red wine gives, yeah? is a medium body and the alcohol is medium to low. Rather than Cabernet Sauvignon has go higher in alcohol, but still medium, medium plus, I would say. High tannins, but more kind of gentle tannins, even if it is high, but more approachable, more uh, 
enjoyable standards. Sometimes Cabernet Franc are harsh standards. You really ugh, dry your mouth too much, too grippy. Uh, and, and too herbaceous. I didn't write actually on the on the flavor profile is more herbaceous than Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon uh, can give that herbaceous, the mint character, that uh, bell pepper character, but not generally not in Italy. This is happening in uh, Napa Valley, Argentina, but not generally in Italy. In Italy, both of them uh, shows very low herbal characteristic, but Cabernet Sauvignon is more kind of black for character. So they blend it together to give a bit more complexity. Uh, in few words, they put also Merlot because Merlot gives richer alcohol, richer body, a more red for character with softer tannins. So basically it's the opposite. So that's why they are all combined together to give a more, uh, uh, more round, more uh, harmonious wines altogether. But Cabernet Sauvignon is fantastic on his own as well. Don't take me wrong, but most of the time is blended. So here is the, uh, what, uh, an insight of ca Italian Cabernet Sauvignon. So he likes to moderate to warm Mediter maritime climate. In effect, in Bulgaria, he gives his best in Tuscany. Uh, uh, like uh, fresher and wetter than other parts of Tuscany, so that's why again in Bulgaria, uh, usually is blended with Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and or Sangiovese in Italy. Usually around the world, they add Malbec as a fifth grape variety of the blend. But here in Italy, sometimes it's Cabernet Sauvignon and Sangiovese together without Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot. So yeah, Sangiovese, which is the grape variety of Tuscany, play an important role with the, with the blend. And uh, the tasting notes of top Italian Cabernet Sauvignon are uh, as similar as uh, Napa Valley. They are ripe black currant, the terbal, uh, the bell pepper, which is quite good. Usually it's not in, in uh, uh, mid range, but in high quality, you can try to, you can actually find on the nose a bit of bell pepper, but blackberry, toasted oak, spicy black pepper, dark chocolate, is a very complex, dense wine, full bodied with lovely, fresh acidity and dye tannins. They are fantastic, the Cabernet Sauvignon from Bulgaria and, and, and from Turkey. They are really, really great. And Sassicaia here on the, on the picture, is uh, the most iconic is, and the, one of the most expensive. Is not, uh, is amongst the best, don't take me wrong, but there are many other uh, wineries that make more affordable, uh, but with great quality as well. However, still remain one of, if not the best Cabernet Sauvignon in Italy even if it is blended and there, there is not a Cabernet Sauvignon on his own that makes top wine as Sassicaia, for example, or other blends that I show you here, like Ornellaia or Guado Altasso or Camarcanda, for example. This is the entry level of Camarcanda, but they do also uh, higher quality ones. So food pairing or with Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Sauvignon being rich and dense, uh, you would go with something rich uh, in terms of flavor in food. So hard cheeses, why not hard cheeses? Hard cheeses, aged cheeses. Like here, there is an aged Gouda, which coming from Holland is not really Italian, uh, an aged Parmesan, or Grana Padano, 36 months, wow. Or um, dry, not dry, no, sorry, dry. Uh, use sheep, 
used milk uh, uh, pecorino. It's called pecorino in Italy. Uh, made by sheep milk and aged. Fantastic, rich uh, style of cheeses with Cabernet Sauvignon goes very well. Otherwise, very fatty salamis. We have got a, a huge uh, selection in Italy. Every region has got at least one, or probably at least two. Or uh, even uh, Coppa or uh, Lonza or Schiacciata salami or Milano salami or Napoli salami or uh, uh, wild boar salami. Anything made with salami is great because it's very fatty and the high tannins balance this uh, greasiness. Here, uh, another food pairing which goes very well uh, is la coda alla vaccinara. Coda alla vaccinara, which is translated as a oxtail. Oxtail, this is made with uh, tomato sauce, very rich tomato sauce, and with uh, parmesan on top. Guys, is the end of the world with Cabernet Sauvignon. Fantastic, it's very succulent, very, uh, very melty, these, the, uh, the Coda La Vaccinara, and melt in your mouth because it's fat, because it's succulent from the, from the braise, it's lovely. And then uh, why not a nice uh, tomahawk steak, but can be a more uh, genuine ribeye. Uh, some uh, part of uh, meat that are uh, in a fatter side. Ear loin, yeah, but take the fat off because you need it to give the juicy, the greasiness, because again, the tannins of the Cabernet Sauvignon will balance out. Also, if it is grilled, so it's quite rich and uh, intense in flavor, goes even better with the high quality Cabernet. So, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, please, uh, uh, for any inquiry, drop me an email at palmavinewinedoctor at gmail.com. Thank you, Terry, again, for inviting me for this, uh, for do this master class, uh, for this insight about Cabernet Sauvignon from Italy. And uh, don't forget to follow me at palmavinewinedoctor in Instagram and or in Vivino. And uh, visit my website if you uh, need any more information. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye, Terry. Ciao belli, and uh, hopefully uh, we see you again, Terry. Bye, ciao, ciao.